Master Geek. To what do I owe the pleasure? Chairman Claude, on behalf of the critics and internet users everywhere, I place you under arrest. Are you threatening me, Master Critic? Duh. You dare duh me. You will be made to pay for your many crimes, especially Chipwrecked. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? Snob, he's behind all of our recent problems. Is this true? Well, from a certain point of view, everything... Yes. He deserves a trial. Leave him to the feds, the courts. He's bought them off with his lobbyist money. He's too dangerous to be allowed to live. He deserves to die. He will die. No, 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 no! It is you who will die! Sick. Bradikin, join me. Together we can rule the galaxy with copyright laws. I will do whatever you ask. Ready? Wow. That went much faster than I expected. I have a real impulse control problem. Apparently. I pledge myself to you. To the ways of the studio. To the ways of the dicks. Good. Good. A powerful dick you will become. From now on you shall be known henceforth as Darth Star. We must move quickly. The critics are relentless. If we do not hurry then they will be on the message boards within minutes. Stupid form letters will be sent to Congress. There'll be another internet blackout, and all hope will be lost. What can we do? First, we will kill the critics, then seize the power of the whole. Then we'll have a little soiree. Maybe invite some friends over. Ron Howard, Henry Winkler is always nice. Maybe have some of those little appetizery things, and little spinach puffs, and those little cocktail wieners wrapped in the, I don't know what you would call it, it's almost like Pillsbury dough, but not quite, and then maybe some cards, a few games, maybe charades, and then, then we shall have peace. But I don't understand. How'd you get here? You launched me into space, remember? The whole did the rest. You collided with it, didn't you? You collided with the whole. It restored you just like Europa. Yes. Now me and the plot hole are one. Then your character in Spoonie... Is but one half of me. Well, then we need to bring you two back together. Not until you bring me the critic. Bring him to the plot hole. But why? Bring him to the hall, and all will be revealed. No, not until you tell me the truth. Why do you need the critic, and what have you done with Spoonie? You're wasting time. You are all in danger from... him. Him? Who? This station is the greatest power in all the universe. Once we use it, the world will crumble before the power of the Death Bomb. Without the ashes, we will rise. Of course, it needs to be repainted. Wallpaper needs to be reapplied and the rugs are hideous. But aside from that, it's pretty darn impressive. Oh my god, he's gonna kill everyone! 
Guys, get me out of this thing! Guys, get me out of here! Guys! 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 Time is short. Leave none of them alive. Communicating with Zod and Turl, I knew it! Hey, that part says that the oxygen is dropping, but on the bridge only. All of the crew is on the bridge! They're making their move! We have to do something! What are we gonna do? Turn on the oxygen. I feel a Cynthia Rothrock moment coming on. What to do, what to do? Uh, think, you warrior, think. What would George Takei do? If not the naked now, what naked time? Of course. <laughs> Edward is in deep shit. Away from her, you bitch! Deal with her. Die, slut. Aha! Do you not leave here bloodied, or with my blood on your sword? Aha! 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 Seriously, Todd, I know you're still in there. This is why I'm not beating you! Seriously, you're just hitting the same spot. Seriously, it's just the same spot. your face. Yeah, well, I knew it would snap her out of it. Look, you don't have to go... You... I mean, I, I know well, you were just saying... you saved my life. I think that's worth one date. What happened? 
You nearly died from lack of oxygen. But fortunately, you clowns were so hepped up on painkillers that it slowed down your metabolism. Oh, is that why I'm seeing two Wario without a shirt? Well, well, who's responsible for this? Him. He's your traitor. I knew it. I never did trust Link Kara. What kind of freak reviews lamps? It's Mecha Kara. Oh. Well, <laughs> you're not so tough now, are you, Mr. Traitor? You stupid, ah! disgusting meatbag! Turl, have you been listening? Yes. Now complete your assignment and kill the nostalgia critic. What does he want? What does he want? A secret to Malachite's hand. A secret to Malachite's hand? It's useless! Nobody knows how it works! Lies. Felt the organic lies. It's true, you idiot! Nobody even knows if it has any powers! Ask your moron boss! Hey, Zon, check this out! I totally duped that robotic moron! I'm actually going to give him the secrets of that power glove, even though it's totally useless. <laughs> Wait, hang on, is this thing still on? Turn it off! Turn it off! Mechakara? Um, I hope my twin brother didn't get on the line. He's a compulsive liar. Mechakara? <laughs> We got bigger things on the brain. 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 Oh, good God! <laughs> Film brain! Film brain! What happened? What do you know? Everything. And there's a space station the size of a planet located just outside the hole. Which you say is getting more and more unstable. I don't get it. Why kill everybody? I mean, where's the executor's logic in that? He thinks he can control the whole. You saw what it did to Europa. As long as it creates new worlds, new life, new audiences for him to control, he doesn't care what happens to Earth. New worlds without critics to guide them. Then we find the station and blow it up. What about the hole then? Well, we can't go in there. Not until we know what side Mati we're dealing with. And that goes double for you. Well, what if he's telling the truth? What if he isn't? Aren't we forgetting something? What about Cinema Snob? He's on that station too. Luke, I've seen what Snob has become. He's... He's become one of them. Darth Snob. Right. Can you hear me? Barely. I don't understand why I have to wear this mask. To hide your hideously deformed face. I still don't get that. You were burned. After you threw coffee in my face. To get rid of that mosquito. Which I didn't see. But I did. And couldn't find. Because he drowned in coffee. I'm starting to think you just wanted someone uglier around you. All is said for destruction. With my coffee-soaked hamburger face of an apprentice by my side, nothing can stop us now. <laughs> no! What was that? What? I thought it would add dramatic effect. No, it was lame. It's, it's fine. We'll edit it out and add it to the special edition. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no!